So what is up Pimps Hoes and Buffaloes, we are back today with another video and with another commentary, the gameplay you're going to witness in the background, I don't really know what it's going to be just yet, simply because I just turned on the computer and thought, right, I'm going to do this commentary until I think I've done the topic justice, and guys, that probably isn't going to take too long today, you can probably already tell from my voice once again, the sore throat's come back, yes, I know, it's a pain, it's a bummer, and I've got a blocked up nose, so I probably sound like a weasel with a banana shoved right up its ass. yes, that's a bizarre example, but that is exactly how I feel right now, but guys, I need your help. I need you to tell me something. I need you to help me out because I've got a little bit of a predicament coming up on Friday. And on Friday, I move into my university in Wales, in Swansea, and I can't wait for it. I can't wait to meet the people in which I'm going to be sharing the next year with. In a flat, I'm sharing it with seven people, for those of you that are wondering. But how do I break it to them that YouTube is what I do in my spare time? How do I break it to them that I make Call of Duty videos and post them on the internet? Last night, I was thinking of a scenario. I posted it on Facebook. It got some pretty funny feedback. But I was saying, what happens if I don't tell them I'm doing YouTube, I just sit in my room one day and start bringing out a commentary. So what is up, pimps, hoes, and buffalo suddenly reverberates around my university flat. What are they going to think? They're going to stand at the door listening in thinking, is George okay? Is he ill? Is he talking to himself? Shall we break in and see if he's got a knife to his throat? No, certainly that is not the way it's going to be. I make YouTube videos because I love making videos. If someone doesn't like the fact I post Call of Duty videos and put some on the internet, then tough shit. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not a yes man. And by, by the way, guys, when my voice is better, I'm going to do a big topic and a big commentary about yes men. But I'm still confused as to how I'm going to break it to them. Of course, confidence isn't really an issue with me. I could probably go up to anyone and say pretty much anything because I'm a confident person. I don't, I, you know, I, I believe in my abilities. I believe in my social skills and all of that sort of stuff. But there is many different ways in which I could go about telling my flatmates that I make YouTube videos because obviously people that aren't interested in Call of Duty, they're not interested in watching anything on YouTube or anything like that. For some people, it may be a little bit weird. Some people may think, okay, he's a geek, he's a nerd, he plays video games, and posts them on the internet. I don't want to be friends with you, I'm not going to cook you dinner. No, come on, I'm a person, I'm a human being. I also have a life besides doing YouTube, but how am I going to break it to them? This is a scenario I was thinking about. The vlog I use to do all my vlogs, the camera I use to do all my vlogs, sorry. I could just run into the kitchen one day and just be like, Hello, people! I'm making a video to post on the internet, say hello, it's my flatmates, I love you all! I could do that, I could just run into the kitchen and do that. But that's probably a bit weirder than just simply saying to them at the table, Look guys, in my spare time, I sit in my room doing commentaries over things that people may find interesting and enjoy. And I post them on the internet. Is that cool or is that not cool? I probably won't say that, but I'll just break it to them. There's no way on this planet I'm going to let my flatmates just literally randomly hear me doing a commentary in my bedroom. I'm probably going to try break it to them somehow and probably I'm going to use it in Freshers Week when we're all having a few drinks and everyone's just a little bit lighthearted and having a laugh. That's probably the way in which I'm going to go about telling them that I make YouTube videos. But of course it is something in which I want to be a little bit careful about. I don't want people just to think, oh, he's a weirdo. I don't want to be friends with him because he's a geek, he's weird, and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm asking you guys, my subscribers, how you think I should tell my flatmates that I make Call of Duty videos and put them on the internet. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't been able to do a longer commentary today, but as you can tell, I feel like death warmed up. A weasel with a banana up its ass. Yes, I will use that example once again. But guys, leave your suggestions in the comments section below, and hopefully I will get to speak to you guys in the upcoming days. Thanks very much for to the kitchen one day and to be like, hello! 